Well, this is probably a very new intro for you guys. Welcome back to KJF Fishing. Today, I am out on the ice with my buddy Jesse. We're in my Clam X600 tent, and it is pitch black. I am having to use this light that is very bright. Um, it's currently 1230, the year 2020. Yeah, Happy New Year's. Hopefully it's going to be a great year. We currently have a coyote outside of our tent. It's kind of freaking us out. It's like it's chewing on something. So we're going to go investigate that. And I'll probably show you guys the setup in the morning just because it is so dark and we are wanting to sleep. I've already tried to film this intro, but I haven't been able to speak correctly or think. So, yeah, we'll see you guys in the morning when I'm actually a little more rested. And hopefully we can catch some fish. So stay tuned. And I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, boys, we just woke up. It is currently 8.30. We woke up actually about 8.15. We had our pickerel rig set up inside overnight. Nothing happened. Uh, we went out, set them up, and five minutes later, Jesse smacked one already. Five minutes into fishing this morning, and Jesse Patzer got her done on the pickerel rig. Uh, we don't have any footage of it just because it's really dark out here in Canada at this time. Like, if I take this light away... Yeah, I'm gone. So, hopefully once it gets a little bit brighter outside, we'll be able to film more, and hopefully they'll still be biting. But yeah, just a little update for you guys, and I'll see you guys once it gets a little bit lighter outside. Yeah, oh, he is. He's just chilling on the bottom, y'all. Let's go up. There we go. First one of the day, guys. Ha <laughs> this little guy. Look how small he is. Tiny, tiny, tiny sauger. Caught him on that slab wrap. You guys are just getting enough light to be able to see this now. The GoPro is a little dark. I don't think my big camera would be as dark, but this guy is just hooked everywhere. And guys, going for the release on this little guy. <laughs> Come on, there he goes. <laughs> He's been a little butt. Cool, so we've caught currently, that was the fourth fish of the morning. We caught three when it was still a little bit too dark to uh, film anything. They're all saugers, and it happened to be that one was the smallest out of all three. Obviously, that would happen that way. So we're gonna keep fishing, and hopefully, we can smack a big one. Hold on. Yeah, we, we're fine. We're good. Here we go. We're, we're good. See, will it come up? Oh, is he coming up? He's coming up, boys. Ha <laughs> ha! There it is. There it is, guys. Look at that. Another little saw guy, a little bit bigger than the last one. Caught it on that same slab wrap. He is hooked pretty well. He was not coming off, that's for sure. Might need some forceps for this. Little sauger right there, guys. Not too big. Probably 10, 11 inches. But we're going to get him on the release. And Jesse, you got a fish right by you. Okay, I'll, I'll take the camera. Yeah, I had. Go? Yep. Small. <laughs> oh my God. Not even worth bringing out the big camera for. This dink fest. This is horrible. Dink fest. And they're slamming the slab wraps, guys. Like, we need a bigger one. Little guy going back. Oh, wow. He's swimming all over. <laughs> so, guys, it is about. 10 o'clock in the morning and we've already caught I think six fish we've been fishing for like an hour and a half now so it's not bad six fish in an hour and a half uh, not too shabby two on the iFish pros and four inside so and three of them we couldn't get on camera because it was too dark but yeah also happy new year y'all I don't know if I've said that yet I might have said it in the intro if not happy new year and I hope this year brings tons of big fish to you guys it's looking like a better one you want to hit record? Oh, didn't I? Oh, that's big. He's, oh, he's coming. Yes! Yes, sir. yes, sir, guys. A better one. Oh, it is a good one. It is a better one. <laughs> Look at that. First good walleye of the day. I don't want to kneel down, which I usually do kneel down because I have ski pants on. But look at that. First good walleye of the day. Caught on that slab wrap. That is a beauty, guys. Caught right in the corner of the mouth. <laughs> okay, this guy's a wreck. I'm gonna get him unhooked. 
and then I'll show you guys. This beautiful walleye, probably 18, 19 inches, beautiful golden walleye. This is a true walleye. This is not a sauger. You can tell it's a true walleye just by no dots on the fin. We're going to get him back. He is nice and feisty. There you go. <laughs> Why are these fish being so dumb today? We tried to go for a nice release. Okay, just go. <laughs> what? I, I put him down head first and he swam right back up the hole. I mean, there's enough water in here. He could survive in here, but yeah. Anyways, good fish. Let's get back. There we go, guys. Got another one. I think he's a smaller one. Hey, he's not bad. He's not horrible. He's a good walleye. I was just enjoying a nice cookie. And then this guy came up and decided to smack it. I don't know what could get better than that. Enjoying a nice old Oreo cookie made by your sister. And slamming walleyes. Another true walleye. Really beautiful. Let's get him back. There he goes and he splashed me on my face. <laughs> cool. Yeah, caught that on that same... On that slab wrap, it's like a UV uh, chartreuse and white slab wrap. I don't know what size it is. It's one of the bigger sizes, but it's just been killing them. There we go. Oh my, don't even get it. Don't even get it. I got it. Hey, at least you're catching, eh? <laughs> Goodness, I, I didn't even get it focused. Oh my gosh. The guys, I, I'm lost for words. I go from like a good fish to that. To, to that? Get out of here. At least you're catching, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not losing them, that's for sure. No. He's just going back in between us. He's undecided. Until now. Okay. <laughs> He's going to be small. Oh, oh my goodness, so what is weird. with these dinker walleye guys? Like, jeez. They're coming in schools. Like, okay, and you're going to get me hooked. There we go. Little... Little, little sauger again. I don't know what's going on with these small ones. It seems like the small ones are coming in smaller groups and the big ones are just coming in, coming in individuals. That's kind of what we've seen this morning. But we're gonna get a nice release on him. <laughs> He's just chilling. No, chilling. go down. You can go down. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> oh, and you can see him swimming underneath the ice. That is so sick. We've melted like everything in here because the heater's been on for like close to 12 hours. You can actually see him on that live scope too, going back down. But we melted everything in here because the heater's been on for like almost 24 hours. And you can see the fish swimming underneath the ice when they come up. It's pretty cool. And still using that slab wrap. But let's get back down there and hopefully we can get another one. Alrighty guys, this is the end of the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and you are wanting to stick around till the end as I'll be talking about my giveaway details and who won the giveaway. So make sure you stick around for the end of this outro. Uh, but other than that, I want to thank my buddy Jesse Patzer for coming out and fishing with me all night. Didn't do very well during the night. We only caught one during the night and I think we got like 10 to 11 yeah. today, just in the morning. Jesse has to leave now and I thought, heck, we might as well wrap up the video because what's the video without Jesse Patzer? <laughs> so that's what's going on. I'm going to head back to the house and we're going to talk about who won the giveaway for the KGF Fishing Hat. So stay tuned. I thought I'd give it one more night to see what other names came in and I had a really hard time picking the names that I've got. Uh, we came to about five names that were really really good 
and had to narrow it down to just one. So the name I've chosen is from Eat the Meek, and he has uh, put in the name Sushi. Found that name super funny, uh, super cute for the fish that I got. But yeah, that is the winner of this giveaway. Uh, I'll just read his comment really quick. He says, great video as always, man. I can't wait to get ice here in New York. I have plenty of funny names for your fish, but Gilly seems more appropriate than sushi or shark bait. Lol. Keep them coming. Honestly, I think sushi is quite appropriate, and from that, you have won this giveaway. You will be winning one of these KGF fishing hats. Just get in uh, contact with me somehow, email, Instagram, or shoot me a text, and we will get you a KGF fishing hat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and make sure you guys stay tuned for the next one. If you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that red button, turn it gray, and leave a like on this video. See you guys next time.